Nice work. No going back now. Another hole in the roof of the van. Hello everyone and welcome back to our van. We wanted to give you a quick update tour. We have been working on it for over a year and a half, which it feels like time flies, but um, you can see not much has changed on the outside. However, we did add some solar panels but a lot has changed on the inside. We're calling it the plot twist van. <laughs> but come on in, we're so excited to show you. Welcome to the inside of our van. As you can tell, it definitely looks a lot brighter. Everything is white as opposed to that kind of like orangey wood tone. Um, before we start the tour, I just want to send like a huge thank you to Cody's parents. Not only were we storing the van at their house for this year and a half, but almost every weekend for the past at least six months, we have been going there and working on the van. Cody's mom has been buying us our favorite snacks and feeding us all of our favorite meals. And Cody's dad has been working tirelessly on some of the things we just didn't know where to start with. Um, one of the biggest things that he helped us out with at first was the shower. So we're gonna start there and come on in. So as a warning before I take you into the shower, we have been living in the van for about three weeks, so nothing is perfect. And you know what? We don't want it to be. We want to be transparent with you guys, and we don't want to make things look unrealistic. So bear with us. We have some things on the floor um, and things on the counter, but that's okay. That's just how we're living our lives. But come on into the bathroom. Starting off, we have the Airhead compost toilet. So this separates the liquids from the solids. We've been actually really loving it. I was nervous just because I've never had a compost toilet before. Something that I would say my favorite part of the shower is, is the floor, the slat tiles on the floor. I think it just adds a little bit of our personality and makes it so it's not fully white. We do have a shower head. We haven't used it yet just because we've been living in a campground, um, but we'll be sure to keep you guys updated. One thing to mention is this shower is actually bigger than our shower in the tiny house. And something to keep an eye out for is in the future, we'll be working on a video that is van life versus tiny house living. So we're so excited to share that with you because we already have so many thoughts. And then we just have some storage down here and a little bit of natural light going on. But moving on, we'll head to the kitchen. Um, the slushy truck is coming, so we're gonna have to take a pause because we need a quick slushy. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Back to the van tour. Anyways, <laughs> so good. This is our kitchen. Um, not too much has changed, although I'm sure it looks so different because we did paint everything white. We are planning on redoing the entire countertop, get a new sink, maybe a stove. We'll see. However, this one's been working really well for us, so I don't know if we're ready to get rid of it just yet. Um, but we're hoping to get a countertop that matches the ceiling, which we're obsessed with, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but we just have this stick on backsplash, which is working really well just because it's not so heavy. Um, and then as for storage, we have some plates and cups up here. We have just some extra food storage, some cleaning storage, things like that. We have a little spice rack and then just like random fruits on the counter. There's so many little fruit stands around. So Cody's been just stopping by them every time we see one. Um, then we just have some food storage, things like that. And then our silverware in this one. And then underneath we do have a pull out trash can, which we think is pretty cool. Um, just easy to access. And then um, pots and pans, we did fit our instant pot in here, which doubles as our air fryer, as well as our blender. I'm shocked that everything fit. We also have Cody's kettle under there, and then some pots and pans. Under here, we have some more food storage, more cooking supplies, things like that. Um, we have been using little buckets, which I find is very nice because before that, when we were driving in the van, you could hear everything like clanking together, things we weren't prepared for. 
then over to the refrigerator. We did paint it white. It was like a weird like wooden panel look, which isn't isn't the vibe. Um, not loving the look of it, but it is working great, so can't really complain. Um, fair warning before I open the fridge, we may have ordered a lot of takeout food last night and shoved it in the fridge for leftovers, so just bear with us. But we have plenty of space for storage, and then we do have a freezer up in here, which we can fit some stuff. The size of the fridge is, isn't too, too much different than the tiny house, um, maybe slightly smaller, but we so far haven't really had too much of a hard time with it yet. And then moving on to my closet. I say my closet, but Cody does have a couple things in <laughs> yeah. here. Um, it is much bigger than what I'm used to, so I feel like I could go shopping and buy a couple more things, wink, wink. Um, but I am loving it. If you guys don't know, um, we're down here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and I'm actually here working full time. So the van doesn't have all of our travel clothes in it. I have a lot of my dresses, my blazers, my work pants, things like that. A lot of heels. So if I can fit all of that in here, I think we're good for storage. Um, I also have space underneath here for, I just have my curling iron and we've been buying some gifts for our family. So it's plenty of storage for us to just throw things in there without it looking too, too messy. Underneath here, we have our shoe storage, which there's no rhyme or reason to it. Just whatever fits goes in there. But again, I have heels in there. Cody has a couple pairs of sneakers, plenty of space. And then above, we have our toiletries closet. So we have my makeup in here, we have our medicine, we have a bunch of Cody's like shaving stuff, and then actual medicines are in these bins right here, toothbrushes, things like that, and a whole box of just masks because 2022, just in case, and Lysol wipes, and still plenty of space for more things. So, moving on to some more storage in the back of the van. Moving on to this little basket section. We have kind of like a junk drawer in the first one. Then we have our coffee and tea basket. So I have my matcha in here. Cody has his like coffee grinder, um, some coffee. And then this last one is just kind of our little library nook. So all the books fit perfectly in there. And then above is, I think this is one of Cody's favorite parts, it's his charging station. So this is where we can fit all of our batteries. Cody actually wired the entire van by himself, which I'm so proud of him. He keeps saying he learned from YouTube University. <laughs> Um, so the back of the um, cabinet just has a bunch of plugs for all of his batteries, things like that. If he wants to go into details with that, he can do so, but I don't know all the terminology. <laughs> Moving on, we have kind of our dinette area. We have just a little shelf here for we have card games and a couple more books. We do have our seats, which have storage underneath. I am hoping to reupholster the seats eventually, but again, this is Van Tour 1.0. Not everything is complete, but we didn't want to leave you guys hanging. And then we have storage right above the bed. We did eliminate, if you guys saw the first Van Tour, which if you haven't, you should totally check it out. Maybe Cody can link it up here, maybe somewhere. Um, we did eliminate one of the storage things because we were afraid of just like, not having enough head space, which we think it's plenty of space, plenty of storage for us. I have more of my clothes in here. So I have pants, tank tops, sweatshirts, which I don't even know why we packed, why I packed sweatshirts. It's so hot in Chattanooga. And then we have just some storage. We have a sheet. We throw this on the bed when we turn the couch into a bed. Then we have some underwear, bathing suits, things like that. And then last but not least, 
Cody's clothing storage. So he just has some shirts and then his shorts and pants over there. But I think now is a great time for us to switch roles and have Cody get in front of the camera. We'll have him show you the back of the van, the garage, our solar, and anything I may have missed. Hey guys, welcome to the back of the van. We have definitely made a lot of renovations back here and I absolutely love what we did. One of our favorite things in this whole van, it was expensive, we had to save up for it, but we're absolutely loving it. I think it takes the livability up a whole nother notch is this air conditioner. It's the Nomadic Cooling 3000. This van will power the air conditioner just off the battery bank. We don't have to be plugged in, which is a big game changer when we slept in the Cracker Barrel parking lot the first night. We had this thing cranking, just running off the batteries. We weren't plugged in because solar charged us up all day. So we were able to run it all night just off the batteries. Absolutely love it. Um, other than that, we have the ceiling that we updated. I think this is the thing that kind of grabs your attention when you walk into the van and people always comment on. We just did plywood that we painted black underneath and then Jill herself and my mom stained all of these wooden slats and we nailed them up there. We absolutely love it. It really changes the way it feels in here. It feels like a home now instead of that like headliner material, which I think was one of Jill's needs when we got the van was to get rid of that headliner material. Other than that, uh, obviously I have the dinette. Jill talked about that. This is something super cool. I love the way this came out. My dad kind of took this on his own and really kind of customized this. I work a lot on my laptop, so I really wanted a space where I could feel comfortable in here and use this dinette. This is our table. And as you can see, we put Polaroids in here. So I usually sit on my laptop and sit right here. I really, really like this. It's, we don't have to store a tabletop, which is what we thought we were going to do. It just slides out and when we're done using it, we just slide it back in. Uh, next, I would say is probably the bed. This uh, does take a little more time. We didn't want one of those beds that like push down from a table and then you had to kind of convert it. We wanted something a little simpler. I think this is simpler, but it's definitely a part of my morning routine to get up and kind of put the bed. This is couch mode and we'll show you guys bed mode, which is in between a king and a queen. It's the biggest bed we've ever slept in. We're loving it. All right, here we go. All right, so we now have it set up into bed mode. Like I said before, it's in between a king and a queen. So we just take the sheet out of the cupboard up here, spread it out, tuck it into the sides. We're liking the way that works. We spend a lot of time just kind of up there, reading lights on, hanging out. We're loving this space in the van and we're super excited. The bed just kind of hooks on over here. It's like wooden slats. They all just kind of interlock together. And then this was a tri-folding mattress. We had to cut some off the side to make it fit in here because it's such a strange size. So we bought the king and cut it down. We'll show you guys a little bit more about how the bed works, but same way as the table, it just slides out, slides back in, and then we have a couch during the day. So other than that, we just have the doors below the table so we can get access to the garage from the front, which we absolutely love. That was a great idea. Thanks, Dad. Took the cabinet doors off the cabinet that we didn't use on this side. Other than that, I'll show you guys the garage from the back side. It's where we have a lot of stuff and it is pretty messy, so bear with us. But yeah, that'll be pretty much it. All right, guys, welcome to the back of the van. As you can see, pretty much everything is the same back here. We have a spare tire here and then welcome to the garage. So this door does open up like this. If we want a halfway, we can just open her up all the way. And then this one, we have to drop the spare tire down, which isn't too bad. We have our gray water pipe storage back there. And then you can really see the garage in all its glory. So this is a little mix of everything. We have our Starlink satellite internet. We have life jackets, camera gear, water filters, one wheels, our solo stove, pretty much everything. And we also have an inflatable stand-up paddleboard tucked down in the hole that kind of goes below the van. It's been awesome to be able to get out on the lake. We've been lakefront for three weeks, so we're loving that. And then on this side, we have our whole new electrical system that my dad and I did. Um, we went with two Battleborn Game Changer 3.0s. Uh, these batteries are absolutely amazing. We have 540 amp hours of battery power, which has been fantastic. We're able to run our pneumatic cooling air conditioner for like 12 hours, I think. And if solar's hitting it, 
we pretty much are balanced out. Like the solar, we have 840 watts of solar on the roof, so we can pretty much run the air conditioner just off solar power. We also have a 3000 watt inverter so we can power the blender, the air fryer, all that kind of stuff. Use regular household plugs. Um, other than that, it's pretty much the van. <laughs> We're absolutely loving all the updates we did. I keep saying every night when we get in bed, like, oh, I'm so thankful we did all these updates because it just feels like a house now and we're absolutely loving that, so. Thank you guys so much for joining us on our van tour version <laughs> 1.0. Yeah. We cannot wait to show you guys the updates we make once we make it back home to Maine. But for now, we're just gonna be enjoying this warm weather and the lakeside here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Cody has a couple surprises up his sleeves <laughs> for our next video. Um, some adventures coming up, so we can't wait to share that with you guys, but. Yeah, thank you guys. If you're still here at this point in the video, thank you so much. Thank we're you. still getting into the swing of things with filming again. Uh, so please subscribe, like this video. It really helps our channel out a ton. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you guys, join our community, and we will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye.